Oh, I'd say they got the right idea. I'll be damned this thing sat here all summer and still got battery. That being said, don't know if she's going to start or not, but I've got to get the 1400 moved so I can get to this head and get to the front of the feeder house. Well, she's got gas in it. Uh, tires are way better on this machine, but the rims are different. So I might have to do some switcherooing around here at some point. Let's try this again. Thought maybe the gas had leaked out or was, uh, you know, shut off or something like a normal smart person would do, shut the gas off. But I don't think that's the case. I think it just uh, needs pumped up. I might not get it if she doesn't go soon. Yeah, that's not good. Okay, so if you can see me over the glare in the background, this thing's out of gas. Uh, it has two inches on this side of the tank, the pet cocks on that side. Uh, and from sitting here for, I don't know, however many months, the last time you guys see me here, back tires have sank, uh, causing all the gas to go to one side. But we got what we came for, which was this. It's a uh, uh, header auger finger guard. Need to go see if I can get some new ones, because uh, Jacob had robbed a bunch off of that head. That is the head that came with the TR-70. So uh, we'll bring some gas back, get this thing moved. I did measure the uh, the drum for the front of the feeder house. Totally going to be able to take the good one out of this and replace the bad one. Um, and we'll get back at it. This is what the beans look like, too, if uh, anybody was curious. Uh, they certainly do look loaded. Uh, it's not one of those crazy weeds. But we're trying to get them, and let's uh, see if we can. We are back. Uh, this is today's gas jug. Really going for the upper cylinder lubricant, right? Uh, I'm going to get this thing gassed up with two and a half gallons. Um, hopefully that's enough to get her primed and get her going. Hopefully I didn't kill the battery. I uh, went to the parts store, got the finger guards I needed. Um, that'll probably be in a separate video. And... Uh, Yep, let's see if she moves. I will say, that was substantially faster than the conventional gas can. Alright, here goes nothing. Got her choke pulled, throttles up. Oh yeah. I'm gonna run out of battery. Alright. Time to go stick some gas down the throat. Alright. Let's try this one more time. Come on, baby. Oh, she wanted to. You heard it. Yep, dead battery. Maybe. Try choking. Try burning up the starter. Let the starter rest. Well, guys, I'm just not really having a whole lot of luck. Uh, I really thought the 1400 was going to start up. Uh, maybe if I had checked the gas better and not uh, thought that it had gas when I first tried to start it, I wouldn't be in the boat I'm in. What I got now is uh, ran a 1400 battery dead. Uh, that surprisingly had plenty of juice in it uh, from sitting over the summer. Almost ran my truck battery dead and I thought, no, I'm going to go ahead and stop so I'm not stranded. So now if you can hear, uh, I've got the uh, truck sitting here running with the battery back in it uh, to charge the battery and I've got jumper cables running through the 1400 battery. So, I don't know uh, whether, you know, I just failed. You know, I don't think so. I haven't given up yet. But, uh, yeah, I guess I'm going to just uh, charge these batteries up, 
maybe I flooded it putting gas in it. Um, that's a possibility too, and we'll try again. Yeah, back to this again. I figured I had another five gallons at the house. Why not throw it in? No, it's not diesel fuel. Uh, but I decided to waste this one in an emergency because it's starting to get some cracks. It's not a good can anyways. But, uh, yeah, so couldn't get it started. It wanted to. I think uh, about the time I started to get prime, uh, I ran out of battery. And you, I just I wasn't going to sit in the truck all day and keep charging up batteries. So I went back to the house, got another battery, uh, got this gas. Sounds like it's done. Uh, and we'll try again. Uh, it's all these rotten soybeans. Got our real king battery stuck in there. Let's go see. Uh, see, I don't know if I flooded it or what, dumping gas in it. To me, honestly, it seemed like about the time it wanted to go uh, is when I ran out of battery for like the millionth time. So, little throttle, plenty of choke. Let's give her a whirl. I thought for sure it would prime by now. I mean, I guess it's possible the float's stuck. Tell you what, we build an oil pressure. Oil pressure light went out. Like I said, it could just be completely flooded. I don't know. That's what sucks about being here. Uh, every time I want to try... Mine had the solenoid right uh, there by the starter, like the TR-70. Then I could totally you know, jump the solenoid, watch what it's doing, you know, stick my hand over the carburetor, like and cut off all the air, really choke it. You know, that helps prime. Uh, that can also help getting the needle unstuck if it's sticky. Um, not if they're stuck, but if they're sticky. Uh, you know, play with the throttle. Mainly it's just there to like hand choke it. If, cause if you really start cutting off the air, it'll, the engine, instead of pumping air, it starts pumping fuel. And my wife's on the way. She's supposed to maybe give me a hand. She has the the, uh, the cordless grinder. I have a Milwaukee grinder. I'm going to need for this head anyways. So maybe I'll have it running by the time she gets here. Maybe not. Uh, either way, I guess we'll see. I'm going to go try pouring some more gas down the carburetor and see what happens. What really does suck is for every time I want to try starting this thing, I have to climb down off the ladder in the cab. I have to climb up onto the back of the ladder to get on top of the combine. Climb back down off the back of the combine, climb back up into the cab. And I'm pretty sure everybody knows I'm a little overweight. Let's see what happens this time. She wants to so bad. going to happen is it I personally think I probably flooded it I don't know I don't know how long it'll be until my wife gets here but I'd say my spirits will probably strengthen when she does arrive cuz uh sucks to do stuff alone I'm sure everybody knows that sometimes you want people out of your way but if you're having issues and you're out of weight or overweight and out of breath Typically easier to have a hand, you know, and some moral support as I tell her. She's always there for moral support. <sighs> well, it's running. Clear it up now. Smoking a little bit. See if I got any hydraulics. I do. There she went. That's exactly what we needed. Alright, uh, I guess uh, while it's running, right, 
I'm going to go ahead and move this thing. I, I don't really have a good place to put the... I'm using my phone. There's the GoPro mount, but I don't have it with me. So, uh, I'm going to shut you off, get the combine moved, put where I want it to be, and uh, we'll get back to you. All right, so my wife's leaving. Uh, she brought me the grinder. I got it started before she got here, but oh well. Uh, now, like I said earlier, I had taken my measurements, and that drum will fit the other combine. So, let's go see if we can get it out, I guess. Well, we still got a little bit of daylight. Not much, but I have a flashlight in case we need one. All right, so I've got her opened up. I had to lower the uh, drum down to the lowest setting so I could reach the bolts for the top of this shield. And the whole reason why I didn't take that one off is because it's stripped. But now I've got to get the feeder house chains off. So this is what's, well, this is what's called a half link. I don't know why that's in there. I don't think the other machine has it. Um, but yeah, so you put little cotter pins in here. This is a connecting link. This outside piece comes off. That's how you link a chain. Some people call it a master link. Got this one got this one I'm like alright cool go over here oh there's none to take out you always like finding that I mean could you imagine this thing coming loose while I was running like this giant chain system uh, yeah so I guess let me get all these pried off here and uh, we'll try to get this drum out alright got one out got two out figured I'd show you my uh, little brass hammer and getting the third one out and watch this thing fall So, now one thing that concerns me with this drum is weld marks, dents. You hear that? No idea. But, oh, well, that bearing's a little bad. But the shafts aren't broken off like the other one. So I might take the hub out of one end, the better end, and put it in the other drum, or just throw this drum in there. I'm not really sure yet. Like I said, it's kind of beat up, you know. And, uh, yeah, this machine has substantially more hours on it. Uh, but, yeah, it's a heck of a lot simpler in here. You know, it doesn't have a big beater bar and all that stuff. And uh, Really, I feel like this chain has more slats on it, like these things. Uh, and I do wish I could check the length between the two. And I would most likely want to run this chain with the far greater number of slats. But that probably is not going to happen tomorrow if I plan on getting beans done this weekend. Alright, I've got both of the long bolts that went through that round thing right there. Uh, that was, They have a spring on them. That's kind of like what your, your protection... Because if you swallow a rock or something like that, it allows the drum to, to bounce up on those springs. So, it should be free. I'm probably going to have to take this shield off. Um, yeah, she moves. Wow, the camera glitched. She definitely moves. For some reason, she moves way more to one side than the other. Uh, and I don't know if I'm going to have to get these little bolts off here or not. Uh, oh, yeah. There you go. Huh, yeah. That, that bolt. The reason why I'm even messing with this is because that shaft, uh, you see going into the, the tube that that bolts through, that's broke off on the other combine. Um, and Jacob did tell me that he had a problem one time with it coming undone or something of that nature. And I don't want that kind of an issue. So... Yeah, I'm fixing it. Alright, well there it is. Uh, and now when I'm looking at this one, it doesn't have a bolt on this side either. But, I don't think that the, uh, the shaft is broken off. You know, it's supposed to have a bolt through right there. That locks it on the inner shaft. But, that one's got some wear. Let's go check this side. Maybe this was all for nothing. It won't be. You don't know why? Because I'll still I'll put a bad bearing back in. I don't care. That one's not bad. Yeah, but see the other one, how much this is sticking out? The other side on the other combine is broke off like right here. So you only had like a quarter inch right in this coupler, and it would allow it to flop. So, 
yep i don't know i'm gonna throw this in the back of the truck uh, head on home i guess uh, obviously you can see it's dark um sorry i didn't get more footage of me actually doing stuff you saw a bunch of cranking and some i don't even know if you saw any prying you know you saw the end results but i didn't have my wife here to hold a camera i don't have a tripod still and it is what it is hope you enjoyed uh stick tuned because tomorrow morning i'm gonna go home and like i said wrap this up i may tinker with it i don't know if i do i'll record it but uh yeah i'm hoping to run beans tomorrow you know it's far cry when you got everything tore apart and whatever but uh i think we can get it done at least one load um so i'll quit saying um because i do that a lot if you like what you see hit the see uh like button if you want to come back for more you can subscribe and uh if you got any suggestions, leave that in the comments. I appreciate it. Thanks.